Hello, you're welcome to a new tutorial series. So today we're going to be implementing how we can replace data source in Power BI. So I'm going to show us how we can replace our data source. Possibly we are working with a particular data and we want to replace um, the data with a new one. So I'm going to show us how we can go about that. So, but we have two different ways of which we can replace data source in Power BI. So the first way is um, we can replace data source that has a connector and we can replace data with a, an entirely different data. So let's say you're using a sales referral. You can replace that particular data with same with a different data or let's say a new sales referral that has same column. So let me demonstrate that. So I have my table here. So whenever I, let me click down on it. So this is my data. So this is my table which is list of orders. So what I'm going to do to replace this particular data is I go to the file, then I click on option and settings. Now I'm going to click on data source settings. Yes, so I click on data source settings. So this is the name of the data. This is the name of the Excel file that I have here. So what I'm going to do to change these sources, I'm going to click on change source, to change this data. So, and I click on browse. So, whenever I click on browse, I'll pick any data um, according to what I want to pick. But mind you, any data you are bringing in from this side has to be possibly, let's say, data related to what you have on ground. Because if not, that is going to give you an error. An error in terms of there are some of your column that is going to show you like um, this kind of danger symbol like you need to um, ensure like you work on that particular error. So it's always good that the data you're bringing in that is in terms of the color match what you have so it won't um, affect the chart on your report. So after you've done that you click on OK and you click on close. So that is how you can replace data source with same connector. So now we're going to demonstrate how we can replace a data source that has um, a different connector. Let's say you have a data that resides online. So I'm going to demonstrate with a SQL Server data that is it's not my machine. So I have the data on cloud, which is on SQL Server. So what I'm going to do to do that, that is to bring in an entirely new data is I'm going to go to the home. Okay, we are presently on home. So we click on transform data and click on the transform data again. So this is going to open the Power Query editor for us. So let's allow it to load. So this is the Power Query editor. So here is where we are going to replace a new data source. That is, I'm going to change this table that I have here, let's say this list of orders to an entirely new table. So we does not have all this column that I have. So it's going to be a new column entirely. So what I'm going to do is I already click on the table, which is list of orders. So I click on this small icon, which is this new source. Then I'm going to click on more. You can as well click on more. I can see SQL Server. I just want to show us, like just in case you want to click on a data that is different from SQL Server. So you have a lot of different options here. So different database you want to connect with. So I'm going to click on the SQL Server database and click on connect. So now I need to log in. So this is how I'm going to log in. I'm using a Windows authentication. So I'm going to put in my Windows authentication inside. which is my server name so before you that you're using something else you're going to put in your server name under this tab so i click on ok so definitely it has connected to my data but this has connected to my database so let me load in the table that i want to bring in so I'm going to select this table. So let's let me click on this next table. So I'm going to click on this new first data. So 
this is the table I want to bring in. So I'm going to click on OK. So let's allow it to load. So you can see like we already brought in this table. So this is the new table we brought in from our SQL Server database. So now I already clicked on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going, I, I want to replace this list of orders with this new false data. So to do that is um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the on this particular um, the new data that I brought in. Then I'm going to click on the advanced editor. So after I click on the advanced editor, I'm going to copy this. So this is the code for this particular new false data that I brought in. So I'm going to copy that. Then I already copied it. So now you click on the table that you want to replace. So this is the list of orders. Then I click on the advanced editor again. So here I'm going to change everything that I have here. let's paste it so what i copied earlier i'm going to paste it here so i'm going to copy this and replace it with this there is an entirely different thing that we have over there earlier so i'm going to click on done you can see like the table that is showing here is the data that is inside this new force data so this is how you replace data with an entirely different one without it giving you an error because if we do it just like we did with replacing same connector, it's going to give us an error whereby um, the information that is in the code does not match what you are bringing in. So this is how you can replace data source properly, like a new table properly with the main data source. So this is how you can do that. So you can see you have your column one, column two. So let's just say probably we add some things. Maybe this column is the same with what we have here so we just want to change some few things so let's click on the advanced editor so okay i think we already removed what we have earlier so let's just say maybe you made some manipulations and everything so you just ensure like you add that same manipulation after this after this last um, line then you put in the last and uh, what they call a variable name then you drop it here so to load it exactly like what you want so this is the end of the tutorial. I hope we understand how we can now replace our data source in Power BI.